Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we are comparing the Comica CVM VS08 with the Rode VideoMic Me Compact TRRS, two cardioid pattern shotgun mics selling online for about $50 and designed to plug straight into your device's headphone jack. If you're new here, please make sure to click or tap that subscribe button right there and uh, ring the bell so you'll know whenever I post a new video. While you're at it, feel free to like and share this video too. Now let the test commence! Is this thing on? For the purposes of this video, we'll be testing both microphones plugged into the phone I'm using to record this video, an LG G7 ThinQ, or Think. I'll be testing them with and without their wind muffs, as well as the built-in mic on my phone. Those of you familiar with my channel will recognize this little guy. The Kamika CVM VS08 has brought you almost all the audio on this channel since day one. Up until recently, it served me very well. Unfortunately, when used for prolonged recording, like interview videos, some intermittent, some intermittent static is, uh, is starting to pop up, and uh, that's a shame, because I work hard on these videos, and also, I know it's really annoying for you guys, and I'm sorry. It's been a great little shotgun mic, really. And let's hear it without the wind muff first. Straight on, the Kamika does a decent job of capturing audio, though it definitely picks up some audio on the sides and behind as well. With the wind muff on, the Kamika does get a little better at isolating out just what's in front of it. Now for my new toy! I just got this Rode Video Mic Me a month ago and have recorded one interview and performance with it, as well as an audio podcast. Let's get into it! Without its wind muff on, the Rode does a great job of uh, keeping out extraneous noise. Uh, according to the manufacturer's website, it was actually designed with that feature in mind. With the wind muff on, the difference between the Kamika and the Rode is obvious. Even in room six, where vehicles drive by all the time and force me to restart my recording sometimes, the Rode filters it all out much more effectively. Um, it definitely does a good job of keeping straight ahead what, what's in front of you. In the interest of fairness, let's listen to the difference between just the phone's microphone, the Kamika, and the Rode. Also, in full disclosure, every other part of this video, except for when I say it's the Kamika or the phone, is the Rode. Here's just the LG G7 ThinQ or Think. And here's the Kamika. And finally, the Rode. Incidentally, all the microphone tests right now are with the wind muff on. As you can hear, either mic is a richer, fuller sound than just the phone's microphone alone. But overall, I, uh, I think the Rode takes the prize in this shootout. Considering it only cost me about $10 more than the Kamika, I'd say it was money well spent. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and that it was informative. If you're interested in purchasing the Rode or the Kamika, there are links down in the doobly-doo. If you would like to support the content you love, there's also links down there for my Patreon page with great tiers and great, uh, you know, little perks or links to my CDs. In the meantime, if you would like to have me review any other products or any musicians, please drop me a comment down below. If you want to see more videos like this, click here. If you would like to subscribe to this channel, click here. Really appreciate it. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.